Hi everyone! Today I'd like to walk through a quick and simple migration from Microsoft SQL Server to Oracle Database using iSpire Toolkit. This direction is well developed in our software, so it easily transforms SQL business logic including triggers, functions, stored procedures, indexes and views. You can give it a try by requesting a free demo license or learn more by following the link to the Aspire website in the description. Now, let's start our Microsoft SQL Server to Oracle Database migration walkthrough with iSpire SQL Waste Wizard, the tool included to iSpire Toolkit and designed to manage the database migration process. To get started, I need to tune the RDBC DSN for Microsoft SQL Server. I set it up beforehand and specify it on a Choose a Source Database page. Then I provide the user and password with the appropriate permissions to perform queries from the Microsoft SQL Server system tables. Following that, I select Oracle Database as a target database from the list. Besides, I need to provide other credentials, such as server name, schema name, user and password for Oracle Database to support definitions and data loading using the sqlplus.exe utility. Further, SQL Waste Wizard displays in a tree view all the objects that it manages to extract from Microsoft SQL Server. Here I select all the objects I need to migrate. After that, you can specify various options that will help you customize the Microsoft SQL Server to Oracle database conversion. For example, an option that controls schema name or data type conversion. Next, I need to provide a directory that will be an intermediate repository for the entire migration process and store all the auto-generated files, such as SQL files with converted code, TXT files with data, BAT or SH files. Now you can see all the conversion settings that have been adjusted, as well as the command line at the bottom. There is also a possibility to schedule the conversion in command line mod if needed. The entire process of migrating Microsoft SQL Server to Oracle Database is performed in two phases, conversion and import. The import phase can start automatically right after the conversion phase, or they can be launched separately from each other. The migration is complete. And now I can view all the generated files in the export directory by clicking the view results button, which opens a folder with all the conversion results along with the log files. At the final stage on the corresponding tabs, I can view the summary, export and import results and statistics. After clicking the Finish button, the migration configuration will be saved for future launches and SQL Waste Wizard will be closed. Now, I'm going to show you an example of a procedure in Microsoft SQL Server and a converted procedure in the Oracle database. The procedure includes representative statements such as the if-then construction, while loop, try-catch block, DML statements and cursor usage. Let's call this procedure from our Microsoft SQL Server database. I see that it returns some data. Now I'm going to execute the same procedure in Oracle database and I see that the data returned by the converted procedure is the same. The converted procedure works correctly. 
iSpray Toolkit is a fast, easy and reliable way to migrate with minimal downtime to the Oracle database. Now it's your turn to give it a try. Thanks for watching.